Hi there, I'm Mark Morris. I'm a cinematographer. I've been a freelancer since I uh, graduated from film school about 30 years ago. During that time, I've shot in so many places around the world, in locations large and small, really bad, really nasty, and some nice ones. Over the years, I've discovered on my own and learned from others as well, certain techniques and methods which have seemed to make the shoot go simpler, smoother, even more efficiently, faster, and, and uh, they don't cost much either. If you're just starting out in the competitive world of video making, uh, or you just want to increase your knowledge level, your expertise, your experience level, it's nice to have some secret weapons in your arsenal. And I'm here to deliver some secret weapons to you. The light I'm going to use to demonstrate is a basic mole tungsten Fresnel. It's uh, pretty inexpensive. You can probably pick them up on eBay very, very cheap. But it's got about an eight inch surface area. The key to soft light is to increase the surface area that the light is coming from. So what I'm gonna do is increase the surface area to about 14 inches. I'm gonna spread the doors, clip this to the doors as far out away from the lens as I can to increase the light area. Now we're going to need something to demonstrate this lighting technique. I can't sit in and operate the camera at the same time, so I'm going to use this statue. And the reason for that is it's a human figure and it's about the same size as a human face. Here's what a 14 inch soft source looks like lighting our statue. Here's what we get with a 14 inch soft light. It's a little harsh, the shadows are pretty well defined. Not very soft really when you come to think about it and if we're looking for soft, we're going to look further. The first item we're going to use is a plain old everyday C-stand. And you can rent them for about three bucks a day. Or you can pick up an old used one like I did for very, very inexpensively. And that's our stand. Next, we need some heavy diffusion. Roscoe 216 white diffusion, four feet long, cut from a roll. I'm simply going to tape it to the bar and I'm going to let it hang. I'm going to make a curtain of diffusion to catch the light and soften it. You could use a shower curtain of diffused material or anything that's translucent like this. The light I'm going to use to create my soft light is an Airy Light 1000. It's an open faced light, lightweight and puts out a lot of light. It's a little bit uncontrollable, but it doesn't matter because all I'm going to do is blast it into my diffusion. Here is our four foot wide soft source. Look at the size of the diffused surface of light that's lighting our subject. That's what you want to go for when you're creating a soft light. The bigger the source, the softer the light on the subject. It's kind of got some nice modeling in the shadows, modeling of the features. It's a, I like it. It's kind of a nice, soft, pleasing look. Hey, thanks for watching. If this has been helpful, and I hope it has, subscribe for more videos. There's more on the way. Your comments are always welcome, and if there's a topic that you'd like to talk about or hear about, let me know. See you on location.